How's it going guys and welcome back to another video where today we are about ready to work on the camper some more and guys we're getting close like we're not too far from the end of this camper rehab so we're going to jump inside of it i've already got all the watering done this morning you guys saw a couple videos back sarah wanted to plant this uh this elaborate garden that you guys see us working on here and uh we're not quite finished with it yet but we do have a bunch of our plants in we're building another bed right here got some watermelon over there it's not going bad like so far i'm pretty impressed with how the garden is looking so we're going to continue to water that but today is all about the old tripod i think we're going to do most of the framing today i've got all the wood already here we went out yesterday to a local home improvement store got the wood we have all that here so i think today we're going to focus on framing it up getting the final paint on and we're getting close we'll probably pull it out change the tires i really need to go ahead and get that done probably mow under it again but for right now let's jump in here and get to work well, first things first we're going to cut this little nipple off and then we're going to cut the flange off because again we're not using the, the bathroom at all i did leave the holding tank in there just because if somebody ever had this later on and then we're going to go around and we're going to put a coat of kills on we had intentions to do that we just hadn't put it on yet just because it was just you know there was no point while we were doing all this and i wanted to get all this bottom cleaned up we're going to put a coat of kills around the whole thing and then we will be ready to start framing all this up back here for the bed. We are going to make this back here a full size bed and then have a mattress on it. And then it's gonna work out really, really nice. We'll put a wall here, but we're gonna get started framing. It's time, it's time to frame it up. It's time to finish this bad boy up so we can take Miss Sarah camping in it. Let's go. <laughs> You ready to get your build on today? I am so come, ready. Come over here out of the light. You're just all silhouetted. There you go. Now let them see that pretty face. There you go. <laughs> and for those who commented in the last video, Sarah's not wearing an excessive yeah. amount of makeup. It's the yellow lights. So if you know anything about film or anything, those yellow lights really make things look orange. Do you want to replace them with pretty lights? No. This is, this is low budget build, um, girl. I don't know what you're talking about. Speaking so. of low budget, I found a satay. I did at, a, at an estate sale, super cheap. I got fifty percent off. It's not a satay. It is a freaking winged bench. <laughs> it's a satay. That sounds pretty when you say it like that. I and where know, where are we much, putting the satay? Um, right under the air conditioner. But that's not gonna look like that. That's gonna completely look different. So I can't wait for you guys to kind of like come along with us on this journey oh, of this rehab, <laughs> this camper. Okay, Miss Dainty. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get to it here. So y'all, I knew this was soft back here, right? And maybe this is normal. Y'all comment down below if this is normal, but this isn't even wood. This is like some kind of foam board that they put in here. And then the wood is just gone down here. Wow. Cool. <laughs> y'all, what in the world? is happening right now babe i told you to get the shot back not the camera what do you this is not funny yes it is hilarious no it's you not. were like literally drilling on that thingy like trying to i wasn't drilling off. on anything i was saw sawing it off. so in and case look, you, in case you, screws in case you guys didn't know toilet flange just screw on they screw I look, I told y'all from the get go, I didn't know what I was doing, all right? <laughs> we like, only got here for like 10 minutes. Like, this is guys, I doing. literally like cut on this thing for like a 10 solid minutes with this. And what was happening is it was melting it back together as quick as I could cut it. And little did I know the deck gum thing screwed on. And then, like, I told Sarah to go but get this. I saw the light bulb I, go off in your head. I saw, I literally saw it. You're like, ding! <laughs> I told Sarah to go get the freaking vacuum to clean it up and she goes and grabs the camera thanks babe i love you all right y'all so i don't know what your favorite part about a project is but mine is always power tools every single time so what we're actually doing here is we're repurposing some plywood that we already had because plywood is like $400 a sheet or something stupid like that right now. So what we did is this is actually the plywood that we took 
from the couch up front. I kind of went over it, make sure it didn't have any mold or anything like that on it. And we're going to take this and we're going to make the new floor out of the back with this. So next time you see this, it should be in a new home. On to framing. So we're actually going to take some two by sixes and run them along the back. And I've got a shelf that we already had that I put in there. And it's going to make the bed a little bit higher than what we were looking for, but it's going to give us a lot of storage options in front of the bed, which is exactly what we were looking for. And I don't have to build it all, which will make it really nice. And then we're going to paint it to match everything else. So we're repurposing an old shelf that was probably going to go to the garbage anyways. As you guys know, and as we've told you all, we're doing this whole camper rebuild on a budget, like a, a very tight budget. So we're reusing as much stuff as we can and it's not going to be perfect We told you guys that before but it's going to be something really cool for Sarah and I to use once we get it done Let's cut some boards And that's how we do it All right, so we've got the boards cut for back here. And this is a shelf I was talking about that we repurposed. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a back on it so we can keep that enclosed. One of them I'm gonna put a door on so we do have access to underneath if we do. And we also have an exterior access um, to this whole area back here. So we can get to it a multitude of ways. And like I said, this is gonna be a little bit higher. So the actual frame is gonna sit up about 31 and a half inches off the ground. I really would have liked for like 26, but it's fine because it's just gonna make it almost like a little bunk. The only issue is the mattress is gonna cover about half of that window back there, which is okay. Um, I talked to Sarah about it and she didn't mind, but that saved us a ton of money to not have to buy all the boards to build this frame in the front. Plus it's gonna give Sarah that storage she was wanting underneath of the bed. Enough, or is it just right? No, this is what I intended to do. Oh, cool. Do you need me to hold anything or you got it? This is looking amazing. About two two by sixes short, I do believe, and only because I really want to put a couple more braces under the bed than um, what I'd originally planned. I was going to try to just do one on each end. But just for safety's sake, and because it is gonna be moving around when we drive and stuff, I wanna go ahead and put a couple in the middle. So I'm gonna run out and grab a couple more two by sixes. And then when I get back, I'm gonna finish framing up. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and change the tires on it just so I can get those old tires. It just kind of looks trashy around the house with tires laying around. So I'm gonna put the three other wheels onto the camper and then take the other two of them I'm gonna take to the dump. One of them I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try to figure out which one's the best out of the three that was on there, which none of them are in great shape but whichever one is in the least worst shape, I'm gonna throw it on the back just as a spare. And eventually we'll probably get a brand new uh, spare to put on it, but for now we're just gonna use one of those. So we're gonna head out, pick up a couple two by sixes and then bring it back to the house. All right, y'all, so Ron just left roll out to wherever it was he was going because he obviously can't calculate very good and he misfigured on his wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump out here and we're going to change the tires on the old tripod for him before he gets back. Because, you know, when I got this power tool in, I made an agreement with myself that I was going to do that for Ron no matter what. Let's go. I definitely want to take his tire off to help Ron out, but I ain't going to lie to y'all. This kind of takes me back to my NASCAR days. Back when I was changing tires for Dale. Man, it was a good old day right there. I'm telling y'all that right now. I didn't know. Oh, Eugene changed the tire this fast. Pop that bad boy off right there. Roll in the new one. What are you doing here? What do you mean? What do you mean? I didn't even know you knew where our office was. Oh, you, oh, Eugene, known about the office for a little while. Chrissy just made me promise not to come up here, you know, unless it's an emergency. That, that's not important. I, I need your help, you What's it, Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Listen, so what? Ron went to get some more boards and whatnot, and I, I changed the tires for him with that power tool. That, that you did people. not. You used his tools? No, that's Eugene's tool. Did you not watch the video? It had my name on it. No, it was, anyway, okay, 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 beside okay. the point, listen, I don't, I don't want to tell a lot of people about this, but. Oh, Eugene's lost a step or two since his NASCAR days. I see in y'all's wedding videos and whatnot that you, you, know, you can slow videos yeah, down. Yeah, we can do that. So can you speed them up? 
Yeah, we can do that too. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to take oh, Eugene changing them tires and make it look like I did them in like 15 seconds flat. Thanks, country <laughs> folk, and watch my, my. That's faking. <laughs> no, no, it's not faking, PYT. It's just, I think they call it speed ramping, is what they call I mean, speed yeah. ramping. So, you think you can do that for me? I Eugene? can definitely do that for Eugene. You won't tell nobody? No. Like, you're not going to put this out there on the, the, the YouTube thing that Ron's always, are you? I mean, I, no. You didn't. I don't matter. It don't matter. All right, let's speed it up, PYT. All right, come on. And that's how you get it done, old son. Bet y'all didn't know that about Eugene. Changing tires like a boss. Now it's time to go back to the tent, crack a cold. This budget project is getting more expensive by the day. I don't know if the rest of the camera's gonna stay together or not, but the bed ain't going nowhere. Hey, this looks amazing so far. It's getting there. Like, it was way more work putting this in here than I thought because it's just, there's not a lot of room to maneuver around, so. But it's gonna be super sturdy with the two by sixes, so I'm pumped about that because what I'm doing is I'm taking these and I'm gonna brace in between each one. So it doesn't have any, <laughs> yeah, I don't want it going back and forth. What's that supposed to mean? No, I mean, we're not like full time team people. Yeah. So, but I'm going to brace it in between. And then that way, you know, this way and front to back, it's super stable. I've got it tacked down to the floor. This shelf was a great idea because it gave it a ton yeah, of support. That is insane, y'all. Check it out. And just like, the money that we saved not having to buy the wood, because oh, yeah. this is essentially what we were going to do just with new two by fours. Um, so with, to do it with this shelf, I mean, and repurpose this shelf, you know what that means? what's that? That means I can get cute little baskets to put oh in my there. Gosh. That's like, <laughs> was not what I had in mind for this, but yes, we did repurpose this shelf. And like I told you guys, when I first came in here, it's going to make the bed a little bit higher than what we would have wanted, like but that's okay. Bed. But what it does give us though, at that point is more storage underneath of it. Cause now we've got pretty much a full, like 29 oh, yeah, inches of storage like, underneath of this. So. store shoes like whatever yeah like, and then so we have access to this from the front we're going to fix it to where stuff won't slide out the back but it also um we can get into it and of course we have an external door to this area as well yeah, so, so we, can get it from the we can this is perfect to slide like a canopy in the tents all that stuff can slide Chairs. from that back door into here and it's going to have plenty of space under this bed to hold all that so i'm pretty stoked with the way this worked I'm out excited. and i mean and honestly with lumber being the price that it is we probably saved 60 or 70 bucks that's what i'm saying baby falling on a budget <laughs> like seriously i got the little winged bench at that like estate sale i got some baskets half price guys. i hope you guys can hear her talking back there because i got my microphone on me so but yeah sarah's back there talking about balling on a budget so we are i mean we're uh, we're getting there all day long i've been using the skill saw to cut those two by sixes uh, but now i'm getting ready to cut some one by twos just for the slats of the bed frame and we broke out the old table saw mom and dad got me a new table saw back for my birthday and i really haven't got to use it much so i'm pretty excited but hey it's just more power tools i told you at the very beginning power tools for life. I did take a minute and charge all my tools while I went in and edited a YouTube video and took a little break. So I actually put one on down there first. That way it would hold the camera and you guys could watch me put the rest of them on. So here we go. I did decide to change it up just a little bit because the bed obviously is not as long as the camper is wide. So originally I was gonna like build out a headboard, but then I decided to put the headboard on this side where we had this window so we can get some cool air coming in at nights and stuff like that. And we're gonna make this area back here a storage. So all this is just set up to lay a piece of plywood over it. And that way we can, because we won't need a box springs. This is not gonna be an everyday sleeper. 
So it's a little jagged around the edges, but we got everything we need in there for support. That one's a little wanky, so I just put it in there at an angle. But once we put a piece of plywood over that, it's gonna fit in there just fine. And like, I'm happy with how this repurposed shelf came out. It's gonna be almost like a little loft bed in the back of the camper. So I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out so far. Uh, and Sarah's happy. So as long as mama's happy, we're all happy. Y'all, we got the mattress in here. I am super excited. It's like one step closer. It is. But I will tell you one thing. We like the loft bed concept, but we're gonna have to have a stool. Cause yeah. I mean, my butt, like. <laughs> Go ahead, climb up there. Yeah, right. What you got it? this. I can't step in that though, can no, I? No, you can't, just use this. Oh yeah. You can step on that for sure. Uh, there you go. We did it. This is awesome. So I don't mind the height of it though, because I no. like all the storage it gave us because up here obviously is wasted space above us. Um, and down like there. So cool. There's so much like room and look, we even have this open. So you get like a little breeze. Yeah, you get a little in. breeze. So we actually decided to leave this open. We, yeah, we we're completely leave changed. That open. Um, but this is going to be so, so fun. So explain what we're like, doing here. What we did, because we were going to close this off. and that's right, so, so we're going to kind of like, almost like build over the wheel um, there. And we're going to build it to where it comes up in like a little shelf. So we have almost like a nightstand. So that'll be kind of cool. Yeah. It's a good but place I'm not going to tell you what we're doing over there. Good place to sit drinks. There is an outlet right here. So it'll be perfect. We need to charge phones, camera equipment if we're... Yeah, um, out filming, filming something like that. Fun. So yeah, this is. I and then we're gonna box this off down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna box this off, almost like a wall right yeah. here, and then that's going to become just a storage unit back there where we can kind of store stuff. Um, maybe we might even put like a little tabletop on there. We'll, we'll decide as we go. But we're gonna leave this uh, this old sheet on here since yeah. we are still working. Yeah, this is just an old um, sheet that we had. And we just threw it on the mattress because the way we're gonna be doing this it's almost gonna be like stuck in here so but not really the way we're doing it, it now out. well yeah. yeah but now because well, we decided right. not, not to close this thing. off yeah, yeah, yeah it's not gonna be as bad but we still wanted to put it in here just to see but we yeah. did throw one of our old sheets on the mattress yeah it's, a little funky yeah it's got some sawdust and stuff on it but it's an older sheet we just wanted to protect the mattress to keep sawdust on but i'm stoked like i think this i is love going... it i would literally do this in a bedroom like this is a really cool concept yeah um i'm gonna tell you right now though we do have one issue we have to start keeping the camper locked now why because eugene oh he man. finds out about this oh eugene will be in here sleeping all the yeah, time yeah we're getting some major locks major locks the camper rehab is going amazing honestly like we're really really close to being done got the bed put in there the next video on the camper will probably wrap up the camper series i'm pretty sure that's all it's going to take to get through it but we did want to share something with you guys and we've had these for like a month maybe two months and we just have not had time to be out on them and sarah for the very first time, I'm excited. is this about is to climb on amazing. her electric e-bike. Now, it's actually yours. My yeah, this voice. one. Yeah, this one is mine. We, I just <laughs> I haven't pumped Sarah's tires up on hers yet. Yeah. Um, Sarah has one as well. Um, the folks over at Electric E-Bikes were kind enough to send Sarah and I both um, one of their electric e-bike series. I've got all their stuff linked down in the this description box be below. So fun. This is Sarah's very first attempt at riding the e-bike. I've been on it. I, he had to lower my seat. I was not getting up on that thing. But I'm excited. Let's do this. If you have it in zero, it won't pedal assist. So if I want to throttle, I just throttle? Yep. Yeah. Stop pedaling and just okay. use the throttle. Do I push this? No, yeah. baby. You roll, try, roll it back towards you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> This. It's actually gonna make a really cool video. <laughs> Guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed this camper rehab series. As we start to draw it to an end, we are getting closer to being done with this thing. You know, we have had a blast rehabbing this camper and I'm not so sure that we're not gonna flip this thing and do another one because we really, really have enjoyed the heck out of it. But we enjoy this too. We enjoy coming out in the afternoons, taking a little stroll here around Navy Point you know it's just been a, a busy weekend and this is a great great way for us to unwind guys if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a great big thumbs up it means the world to us if you're new here to the cameraman ron channel we are getting oh so close to that magical 20,000 subscriber mark so make sure you are smashing that subscribe button 2022 style we can't wait to see y'all on the next one y'all take care and we'll see you soon
What is it? Pull it up. Pull it up. Good job, kid.